Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January 2015 favorites video. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be the things that I've been continually grabbing for this month and things that I've been loving or just beauty products that I could not put down. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing my favorites this month, then just keep watching. So the first favorite this month is my uh, Flat Kabuki F80 by Sigma. I absolutely love this brush. I, nine times out of ten, use this brush for my foundation. Um, I absolutely love this brush so much. I love it, I love it. If I'm not using this brush, then I'm going to be using this brush, which is my Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. It is a lot, it's I mean, it's a lot more different than the Sigma F80 brush, but it does the same thing. It really buffs out the foundation really nicely. It's just a little bit more tapered and a lot smaller. Um, I feel like both of them uh, just do a really good job. So I absolutely love these brushes this month um, for my foundation. And that's really all I use those brushes for is my foundation. And then my favorite eye brushes, my really blending brushes that I could not get enough of, were these um, Morphe brushes. I absolutely love them. They're very, very affordable. Um, I, my favorite one would probably be this Morphe M441. It's just a very nice brush to uh, blend out the crease. Uh, I love this brush so much. As well as the Morphe M200. That's what that one looks like. I absolutely love this brush. Works really, really nice to blend out all the uh, to blend out the crease and then I also love this Morphe B38 so I I can't get enough of these I'm definitely going to be buying more brushes from Morphe they're just so affordable and very good quality so I love them. Okay now we're going to move on to my favorite face products this month um, first we're going to start off with this Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer Smooth Skin Minimizes Pores this is in the shade um, 001 the prolonging foundation one. This has a sticky um, finish to it, like it's kind of tacky. I absolutely love this stuff. It's also moisturizing and um, so yeah, I love this as a primer. I use it just about every day. I absolutely love this primer. Um, my favorite, I have been using this non-stop this month. So this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. I have the shade 110 and it's creamy natural. So I feel like I'm wearing this today. I absolutely love it. Um <laughs> Yeah, it just you do the only thing about it is I feel like you do need to use quite a little bit of product. Um but for the whole face, but it does, it it conceals really good, I feel like. It's probably medium to full coverage, in my opinion. Um, I do have oily skin, and this is oil-free, obviously, so it does work really nice for my skin, and I really do love this foundation. My favorite um, concealer this month was the Maybelline New York, uh, the Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I love this stuff. It works so nicely. Um, I use it for under my eyes. I just feel like it works the best for under there. And um, yeah, so that was my favorite concealer this month. And the name has really rubbed off of this next product, but I absolutely love it. This was the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I had the shade 001 Transparent. I cannot, I, I use this every day, so what I really love about this powder is, or what I use it for is to, like if I have a blemish, I will like put concealer on that, whatever, I'll do whatever I need to do to that blemish, and then I will take, I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I take my fake beauty blender, I take my little sponge, I swirl it around in this powder, and then I set that area. That way my concealer on like a blemish does not fade, it does not run away, it does not move. I love this stuff. I I absolutely love this powder. I've used probably, this is my third one I think. I, I just okay, love this powder so, so much. 
My next favorite this month was the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I love these things. This is the only color I've ever had. I'm pretty new to MAC. I don't have, I've just got a foundation from MAC. But um, the Soft Ochre Paint Pot, I love it. I use it, whenever I put eyeshadow on, I put this on. I put this on first and I just love it so it's really great. Um, this I use every single day. This is my Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Mascara uh, from Tarte. Did I say that? Um, uh, the packaging is so cute. I love it. This is the only thing I've ever tried from Tarte so I, I mean I love it so much. But the brush they're natural bristles and I just feel like it's it's so good at uh, clinging onto every lash and really elongating them and separating them all. This gives me really natural looking lashes um, and full looking lashes. I just love it so much. And the for the bottom lash line, I love this. It works really nicely. This is I've been using this every day this month. Okay, so then for eyeshadow, my favorite eyeshadow palettes, I haven't been really using single single eyeshadows or anything like that. I've been really reaching for um, palettes. My husband got me these for Christmas this past year. These are the Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2 palettes. I cannot get enough of these. I finally jumped on the bag bandwagon and asked for these for Christmas and that's what I got. So I got the Lorac Pro which I love so much. I really use the heck out of the cream color, the taupe color, the mauve color. Um, I, I use the champagne color a lot, the white I use as a highlight. I love those. And then I really love the Lorac Pro 2 palette. My favorite colors in this is the cool gray I love and then the the light brown I really love um, so just they have really really nice uh, transition colors I I use these a lot <laughs> every day and then the last palette that I have been loving I'm pretty new to it I just got this in my uh, boxy charm I think it was December's boxy charm but mine came busted so I don't have the black shadow but I've, I'm pretty new to it, but I have been loving it. The shade's about ready to fall out as well, which is a bummer. <clears throat> but I've been loving um, this shade up here, this shade, this shade. I have a lot of these colors on my eyes today. And I really, really love the shimmer colors. I just use the shimmer colors with my fingers. So I just love them so much. They work very nicely. And that is these two right here that I just put on my hand. They're very, very nice. I, I, I really do like this palette. Um, the Revealed palette from Coastal Sense. Did I even tell you what it was? So yeah, I love this. I, I, I really like it. So the next thing that I will talk about is for eyebrows. I mean, every I'm pretty sure everybody is using these, but... For my eyebrows, I love to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I use the shade Soft Brown. Um, so there's what mine looks like. And then, of course, I like to use the number 12 brush. It's got the spoolie and then the little angled brush on the end. This is really nice. I don't have anything like this, so I... I asked the lady at Ulta if I needed to get the brush, and she, she said, of course you do. So I've been using this for probably the past two or three months, and I, I love this. Um, and then I have a sample size of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, so I love that as well for my brows. <clears throat> okay, so next I have, we'll talk about eyelashes. That's what I'm wearing today. I, I love these lashes so much. Um... Well, I guess this isn't a monthly favorites, but this is the first time that I've used it, but I'm going to use these like every single day because I love them so much, these lashes. Um, these are the best lashes that I've ever used. They were the easiest to put on. They feel the most comfortable. Um, so I absolutely so love these. So these are uh, Bylena lashes. I got these in my BoxyCharm. 
December, I think, again. Uh, the December BoxyCharm box. Um, it's what's on my eyes right now. Um, I'll make, let me zoom you in. Can you guys see that? Yeah, uh, the Lena lashes, and I have them in the sh pair Diva. Uh, so yeah, I just I love them so much. They are so so soft, so comfortable, so easy to apply. I just love these lashes so much. So um, they are pretty expensive. So I'm just gonna take real good care of the ones that I'm wearing right now, and I'm going to store them in their box and just keep them nice and safe. So, yeah, I absolutely love those lashes by Lena Lashes. And then my favorite uh, eyelash glue has been this Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. It's the green labeled kind. But yeah, this has just been my favorite. It's so much easier than having to squirt the stuff out of the tube. So you just put this all over your lash band. It dries really fast, so you can just stick them right on. Um, I really do like that a lot. Okay, my next favorite, um, let's talk about this. Okay, so I, I think this came out right around the first of the year, probably. I've had these for two or three weeks, I would say. But these are the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Velvet Matte. So... These are amazing. I am wearing this one on my lips right now. This is in the shade um, 307 Meteor... 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 Meteoric? Meteoric Matte. Is that how you say that? I absolutely love these. So I will put the swatch of these on this hand. So pretty. So there's that one. I absolutely love that one. I, th I think maybe there's one shade that I don't have, but I'll probably go get it. And this shade is in the, it's called 206 Atomic Rose, which is really, really nice and pretty. Okay, that one is right here. I love, that's so pretty. And then this one is called 602 Apollo. So pretty. But I have really been loving these. Um, that's what that one looks like. The, I don't know if you can see it very well. But, um, so yeah, I have been loving these. I wear these just about every day. The um, Rimmel London Show Off Lip Velvet Mattes. They feel so nice and on your lips. They do, they never really dry. So, I don't know. Or they, they never, I mean, see, it, it never really dries. I don't know what I'm saying. But they transfer like a mother, so that's the only thing that's bad. But they do kind of stain your lips almost, which is very nice. I love it. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really love these, uh, lip velvets, lip velvets from Rimmel. Love these so much. Go pick them up, please. I love them. Oh. Okay, let's talk about this. This is, I don't really do my hair a whole lot. Usually it's in a top knot, just thrown up there. Um, but when I do try to do my hair nicely, I use the, I love the L'Oreal Paris El Knit Satin Hairspray for color treated hair. I love this stuff. It holds your hair where you need it to be, but if you want to brush it out real quick, you really can. Um, so it disappears at the stroke of a brush. So like if you mess up or, I don't know. I love this stuff. It works really nice. It's, it doesn't make your hair crunchy or like straw. I love this stuff. And then we're going to talk about nails right now. Um, I'm not very good at painting my nails. I'm not very patient for it or anything like that. <clears throat> so 
if I ever do paint my nails, which I did a couple times this month, and um, I don't have enough patience to let the nail polish dry. So what I really love to use is this. Um, it's by Julep and it's called Tada Quick Dry Drops. So it's just like a little dropper. And so what you do is when you get the nails, when you get your nails painted, you just drop this stuff like a drop on your nail. <clears throat> and it really, oh it says wait one minute after your final coat of polish and then drop one to two drops on your nails. So this stuff really helps your nails, nail polish to dry fast and I absolutely love this stuff. Like I'm almost out, I'm going to have to see if they sell it like as a part of their line and I'm going to have to go buy some more because I love it. So I... I have been really loving the Impress Press On Nails. I love them so much. I took these out of the package. This is what they usually come in, a package sort of like this. Um, but yeah, I've got some animal print ones right now. I absolutely love these so much. Um, I should have put them on real quick before the video, but I didn't even think about it. So, But yeah, and then I love them so much. They, they last me probably... I work in a place where you have to open boxes a lot, so mine just kind of fall off sometimes, but if you're gentle with them, they'll last you a week at least. So I love them so much. They look really nice. They don't chip, you know, it looks so much nicer than my nails do regularly. Um, it keeps me from biting my nails. It keeps me from doing other bad habits that I have, and I just love them so much. These Impress Press On Nails. So yeah. I guess um, that's about all that I have for January favorites. Okay guys, so that is it for my favorites this month. Thank you so much for watching. I will make sure to list everything in the down bar below um, just to give a list of everything and where it's at, you know, where you can buy it at if you like it. Make sure that you list all of your favorites down below. That way if it seems like something I would like, I could definitely give it a try. So. Um, I would love to read your comments, and if you liked the video today, make sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! I'm pretty sure, what are they? They're like pure Albanian muskrat or something like that lashes? I'm not sure. Oh, no, they're mink lashes. Mink lashes, my bad. <coughs> okay, I... I've... This past... This month I have been loving... A, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> oh, my boobies itch. Bad. <clears throat> okay, so, so, um, yeah. Okay, so that was it for my favorites this month. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check my description box below for more information. Like, if I get kind of, no, don't tell them that. Okay guys, so that is it for my favorites this month. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Make sure to check out the description box below for more information. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ow. <laughs> Bye. Was that a good enough exit? I don't know.